interesting. I have a friend. He says he can't have a tie with silk in it because for religious reasons. But, I mean, help us. People are starving. They have no shelter. They are freezing. And then the good God should sit there and be furious if he had silk in his slip. I mean, that must be involuntary blasphemy, if you ask me. So one should be very careful. One should be very careful. And if one says should have to eat something or not, I do not like to eat rats, and I do respect all people who do not uh, like to eat pigs. The Chinese are one for, they, they think the pig is a happy animal, and they like to eat it. But one should be very careful in intervening something from up there. And I take it, and that I think was very interesting, that you as a sociologist and as a religious person here from Islam made in your first points quite a distinction between the remoteness of God and the worldly things we have to take care of. I think that's the way we have to be. It's in a modern society, intellectually correct, if I may say so, to be a believer, but not any kind of believer. One has to be careful as an intellectual at least. And one has to see, I think all of us, and that's a politically important thing, and it has to deal with differentiation between religion and politics, that when it comes to politics, we have all these difficult things about power in various ways, and we have to deal with it. Inspired, not to naturally, from where we come. And religion might make our heart better, I hope in some cases, though empirically not in all cases, but in some cases, and that's good, that's fine. But we should be very careful in looking in between the relationship between religion and politics. And I took it, if I understand it correctly, and that's an important point, that was exactly the point you made to start with, both that religion was important, but that in worldly affairs, we have to deal with it here among ourselves. So that is what I would say about religions to start with. Now it comes to the limits and the difficult questions. And I say difficult questions and the heartbreaking questions and the questions that I do not, I mean, we are all human beings and I think it's terrible to offend other people. One should be polite and all that. But to which extent should it be legally sanctioned? Uh, and there I think one has to look into the various cases. Um, let's say, take this Khartoum thing. And there also you had a very good point. In the Nordic countries, those are institutionally differentiated countries. What the government can do is limited. They can't intervene with what individual people are doing, nor with what is going on in the new space, except if it threatens the security of the state, except if it is clearly offending a person severely. So that must be it. That must be it. But outside that, one has to see that there is a difference. I have this discussion with the Chinese. They wonder why the Nobel Prize could be given to persons so and so and say, well, it's true that in the committee, there are people sit, coming from the National Assembly, but the government can do nothing with the committee. They aren't allowed to do so. What the National Assembly could do, and I think they should do, is to vote for other people in the committee, but that will have to take place later. Maybe they aren't good enough, but that's another question. So one has to see how the, how the, how the, the, the institutions are structured and who can do what when before one is blaming uh, uh, for not interfering. And then I will start, now I get closer to the, 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 uh, the nitty-gritty things. The, the, I try to delineate from where I come and we'll have the discussion ongoing afterwards. I think then that the recognition between human beings is one of the most important things. And recognition starting with small kids means that you hug them. You do not say very much to start with. Later on you have to behave physically and psychologically in a way showing in your body language that you respect other people. But we are also intellectual people, at least some of us at some time, at some times. We are everything, we are very mixed people, all of us. And then 
I think it's very important to see that to recognize another person as a person means that you are honest in what you are saying. And we in Norway, after the Second War, and we did resist during the war, most of us, and that was a good thing in various ways. Sharp talked about it yesterday. But after the Second World War, we had, had the, the, the court, and that was a very strict uh, treatment of those who were on the wrong side. But we had one very strange exception. The great Norwegian poet and fascist Hans uh, Knut Hamsun was declared not to be mentally fit. And that was a way of reducing his dignity. He was not a person that could take judgment. And that he understood, and he was furious because he wanted to be taken seriously and be put for the court, be seen as a person with a dignity being sentenced. But he was treated as partly old and mad. And there is, in the West at least, a tendency to regard oneself as being very kind when one treats other people as we treated Knut Thompson, saying that, well, they, they aren't up to the uh, situation where they can take an argument, so they will become very furious and dangerous and everything will be bad, so you can't really say what you think you should say, you have to treat them another way. That, I, th I think that's very important. That is not to recognize other people. But I do not say this is what we should do in all contexts. I started with small kids. There are people for whom you shouldn't discuss because it's not up to it. And also, we are sitting here with positions and we are in a in position where we can talk people down. You should know about your power position, etc. But when all that is said, there is also a danger that we are too, cure, too careful in discussing. And here I would say one thing. In my experience, in Norway today, we are much more careful, in some cases too careful, in criticizing Muslims, actually. Whereas in criticizing the Chinese, we criticize them and we do not even care about their history and their spinal reactions. I think it's much more to be done in Norway for understanding the Chinese and take them seriously before we start offending them. Than in, uh, so, I mean, the human situation in the modern world is complicated. Is complicated. I have a, f I won't go for long, but just a few to start the discussion more or less. Uh, the thing about denying Holocaust that there is, there is something about the notion of racism which I would just uh, uh, put up. Um, there is a notion of extended racism today that uh, anybody who would say something about another group is a racist if that is negative, if I just put it on the edge then. But I think it's important for a very concrete reason to see that there is a difference in criticizing a human being for its biological situation, being so and so, having that kind of skin, being that age, et cetera, et cetera, and to criticize a person for beliefs because beliefs are not innate. Beliefs are something you believe, and in the three monotheistic religions there are beliefs that are said to be true and that you have to argue for, actually, that your interpretation of the Holy Scripture is better than another interpretation. That's something you have to argue for and that your notion of God is all right and that you do not end up in some kind of, of blasphemy. That you have to argue for. So in these cases, there is a need to differentiate between situations where you criticize a person for what it is and you criticize a person for what it believes. And now, what is the difference? The difference is a gas camber or Auschwitz because those who came there had no way of getting back. When you criticize a person for what the person is biologically, you are very close to liquidation. If you criticize a person for what it's saying, you are still on the verbal level. So I am very much against the extension of the notion of racism. It's bad to criticize persons in an indecent way when they have opinions which shouldn't be criticized in that way. 
But there is a 